<sighs> I couldn't let this... I, I had to finish this. I got done with group therapy, so I'm... I'm going to finish. Please tell me she's not dead. Please tell me she's not dead. Please, t side B. Please tell me she's not dead. Water. What the? Welcome back, Alex. Uh. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? What? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? Hmm. Not afraid of my emotions or the meaning of home. I learned to let myself feel, I guess, and to not be afraid of those feelings. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? Oh my gosh, I don't like this therapist. What do you make of that friction? I suppose what? I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. But What's Alex, to you? you're right back where you started. How? Uh-uh, you're wrong. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What? Wait, what? Huh? What the fuck? Uh, that's what I want to know. And all the pictures are kind of like me. Is that what I look like? Really? Uh, I don't think so. I guess that's me. Five, Case number three, three, two, five, two. three, three, two, two. And I'm putting that in chat. Hold on. Cool. Open. And I say occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, hallucinations. What? Delusional idea? Huh? Depression, anxiety. Thrown down a. What? Uh, people's emotional states. Oh, God. Whoever you are, you suck. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Uh, family photos. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. Yeah, that's your family. A uh, tuning peg. Huh? Wait, there's a guitar case, right? Wait, what? In my recent excitement, now is a good time to remind helping hands residents that impulses to leave our institution while understandable are best resistance. <laughs> the outside world is sharp tooth and possesses an insatiable hunger. 
And you are soft and slow and appetite. What the? Fr okay, she's having. Uh, uh, um, I have no idea. How did I even get back here? Uh, one missing patient answers to Alex. She's always scratching at the door, trying to get out. I can take them? Oh, wait, I can take the, the tuning. What? Okay, am I gonna need this for the guitar case? What the frick is going on? No, no, I'm not ready to leave the room. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. What? Um, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Okay, it's a little weird. Huh. Oh, well, haha. <laughs> well, I just got a number. No, 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 no. Hmm. Okay, I want to open it. Since I have the number, I should be able to do that. Okay, that is, this is just so weird. Did she, did she de res? What's going on? Tell me she's not. Okay, we can fix it because we have the tuning peg. That's weird. Shot grazed her. And she fell all that way. Oh. She could have fallen more. Careful, oh. careful, careful. Got a cracked rib. Oh, crap. Ladder. Careful, careful, careful. Come on, Alex. Come on. No.
You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are what? we? Technically, that's true. I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. The hell? Yep. Definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. What? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. What the heck? Uh... She was right over there, waiting for me. She's not here. this okay Alex I need you to listen very carefully we got some scary news today and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital what mom are you okay hush now it's going to be okay do you understand me things will be different for a little while, but I am going to be okay. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. <sighs> There's your mom. Hmm. That's terrifying to me because that could be me. Right there. I have no idea when it's going to be me. If I seen some dude during this, it's. Nah. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Yeah. Ow. You making me repeat it? Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Why am I repeating this? Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. What the heck? Am I stuck in a loop?
Wait. Did I miss something? I don't think so. See, that's that water. No matter how much Mom drank, her throat was always dry. It was always too hot in this room. What did I miss? Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. You know what? I think I know what I missed. Hold on. I'm almost positive I know what I missed. Okay, it's none of that. I'm gonna look around for something. Nope. Uh. Wait. The jacket? Can I go on the other side? No. Mom. What am I missing? What did we talk about? I don't have any other options. Hi, Mom. <coughs> don't, don't, don't. Mom. Mom. <coughs> Don't. Water, Alex. Get her some water. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? But... Oh, man. Tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? I just told my friends. Facebook post to do the same thing. <laughs> 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 
That one hurt. That hurt on a freaking deep level with me. Why am I looking at a TV? That's a cool dragon. What the heck? I know she's having some sort of moment. Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. <laughs> you keep running back and forth trying to defuse us both. Play my part again. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This is going to suck so bad. Play your Why? part. Uh, I don't. There was only ever one thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out and wait for it to pass. What the heck? I... I don't get it. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Whoa, nice song. Too bad I'm gonna get a DMCA on this. Can I uh, skip? Please skip, 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 skip. skip. I, I'm trying to talk over this too. Nope, 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 nope. Alex. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Okay. It's okay. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? <sighs> don't, don't play the. Oh gosh, you're gonna listen to this song again. Okay, don't. 
It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did... I'm not gonna listen. I'm looking for things I can get memories off of. Tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job. Again. So we're broke. Again. Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records, or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about mom. Babe! I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> <gasps> uh, that was accidental. Alex. I'm okay. It it's accident. okay. It was an accident. Alex, I, I, I didn't. Dad, Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. I can't do this. Oh my Dad. God. Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Oh, man. Someone. That's how they got into the foster care system. Dad. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. foster care system. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? What the kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. Oh, you are 12. God. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13. 14, 15. Orphanages, 
group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't about the friend, is Play it? Play my part. This isn't about the friend, is it? Please tell me this is not about the friend. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! This. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. How are you holding up, Shu? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Okay, so that's the footlock. That's a creepy doll right there. Um, I have no idea what the frick is going on. I know she's alive. She fell again, but... I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What is that? I wonder why she's never found a home before. She's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something oh. broken, wrong with her. <laughs> oh! Holy crap.
Oh my god. I'm sorry. What the heck is going Why? 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 Yeah, why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. Oh. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Okie doke. All right, so... What the frick? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? that got a broken rib where the heck do I go Can I pick I've up the got to find a way out of here Nothing behind me. I can't take the miner helmet, great. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. Mm -hmm. Dead rats, ew. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. <laughs> well. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. <laughs> How long has this stuff been down here? Cigarette butts.
So we're using our abilities. That aura is the only lead I've got. Come on, let's get you out of here. This is so trippy. All right, boys, getting close. Divers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady Not goes. Steady. Idiot. Fuck was. Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. Asshole. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there! They'll drown! Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Heck is that? Okay, if that's uranium, don't touch. Okay, obviously not uranium. I'm thinking something with an aura. What? Wait, what? No way. No way. Wait. Jed! Come back! Jed, you son of a bitch! Jed! You gotta stop, man. You Chen! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. back kid this is gonna suck uh. 
No, no, don't. Just rip the sign down, please. Fuck that dude. <laughs> he let people drown. Freaking coward. He knew. Even I know. It's not stable. It's, it, a mine is not stable if it's got loose soil. <laughs> Damp soil. Oh my god. What a Mm. Mm. It's a freaking dick. Council meeting? And oh. during my time here, oh. I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. Forgive me. It's Fuck a flower you, shop bitch. run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer. By I had name. a little finger for that asshole. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. Kiss These values ass. which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. Mm -mm. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're Bullshit. tremendously excited for its future. Oh, I've never wanted to slap a woman. Thank you, Diane. But you, I'd make an I exception. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make and this you, official. you, i punch, and I'm a pacifist. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Kiss my ass. Find his gun. It's been fired. Alex! Oh my god! I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Uh, for Ryan, this is gonna be really hard to hear. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're Ryan's hurt. Ryan's gonna hate this. <sighs> Steph. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? You freaking shot her. Don't pretend. Nah, he gets it. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Yeah. I'm sorry. What, what the, the hell, hell happened? happened? I was down I was in the down mine last, last night. night. I saw I what Typhon's, Typhon's been hiding for 12, 12 years. years. Jed Lucan Jed isn't a hero. hero. That, whole that whole story, story is a lie. lie. Jed, Jed caused, caused the, accident. the accident. And then, and then he, he abandoned, abandoned seven, seven of his of men. men. He, let, he them let them drown to save himself. To save himself. There were pictures, pictures of me and Gabe down, down there in the dirt. dirt. Because, because one of those miners was, my, was my, father. my father. Typhon wanted, wanted to keep to this keep covered, covered up, up in case in it case jeopardized, jeopardized the vote. Oh my God. They're ruthless or they're afraid? I say they're ruthless. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. What's wrong with you people? Why aren't any of you saying anything? What the fuck? Pike? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Oh, for 
God's sake. Don't tell me. Uh, uh, I'm not embarrassed. Oh, no, I didn't. I wasn't you. asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. Oh my God. But we Shut all up. sympathize with your situation. Oh, don't you come near me. You've been through so much. No, don't. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. <laughs> Let's play on it. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. Uh -huh. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. Uh, I, just... I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. Kiss my ass. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. This is an act. You're lying. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I believe you too. <laughs> I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. I don't think right. Miss Harmon, please you. remember the terms of your settlement. Screw your settlement. I would never take that money. Whoa. Charlotte, please. I would like to speak. <sighs> well, I didn't get to help Ducky. I've known Ducky, Jed so. a very, very long time. And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Some allowances must, of course, be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. But nonetheless, it saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. I didn't get the help, Ducky, so. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. Oh, did all those the things I... Oh. Oh. She wouldn't make these accusations oh. lightly. Something must have happened. So the stuff late, I did... There's no actual evidence oh. of anything. Maybe not. But that's what I think. Thank you, Eleanor. I helped Actually, you by... Actually, Diane... There is evidence. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. It's not a conspiracy. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? 
I know your game. I know Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> Don't call <laughs> you know me Jason. What? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from... Oh, cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up Jason. with it. I don't know about Ryan. It concerns me that a voter has openly admitted to a personal Oh, do I say I'm sorry? Or you believe me? Oh, here we go. I don't think he's going to. I know the difference between right and wrong. I don't think he's going to. I'm so sorry. First thing tomorrow. What? What? Dad. Please. Come clean. Holy shit. We'll figure it out together. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. My own son. Dead. My own goddamn son! Okay. Stop. What? Whoops, I guess I got stuff to do. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look uh, away uh, uh, uh. and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He's a fighter. The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. Maybe he was finally winning. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it, and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Oh my God.
You've forgotten it. Haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. That you're a good man. That you're a hero. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Oh, man. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? You're a pawn. I say you're a pawn. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And then you gave your soul to Typhon. You let them tell you how awful it would be for your wife and son to find out. You let them tell you that Haven was more important than the men who died. When it really mattered who you were and what you stood for, you let Typhon decide for you. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. Oh. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. I condemn you. Oh, no. After all that, I have to. And I forgive you. I got stuff to say about that, that that I didn't know what was going on. Brilliant game, by the way. Holy crap. Oh, my God. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. <laughs> shoo shoo. To the rescue. So this is a few days later, I'm assuming. Yeah. The silence is worse. I need to get some air. Uh, 
Okay, hey from the record traders. It's currently accepting applications. Priority will be huh? Nobody just yet. But to be honest, I'm kinda eyeing the exits looking for new adventures. Um, Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kinda think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Yep. We'll get one. I've got some continued support for you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, screw you, Typhon. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. Uh, it never ends. To provide assistance in the case. Oh. All this could happen under your nose. Ah, uh, leave Blake. Give, it, give Pike a break. <laughs> Holy crap. So much that you guys gave me. What the heck? Will not be open for lunch today. Yeah, that's all old stuff. Okay. I'm oh. so sorry. I worried you all. Agreed to meet up last night, but then she ghosted. Not super, not like her. Kind of freaking out. Called a cell and no response. I'll try 911 next. That's troubling. Haven't seen her. Yeah, screw you. Um. I bet Steph wishes she could reword that. But it's pretty funny. Can I get your names for the article? I'm stuck here. The brain's operation, my muscles, Alex. Oh, she's gonna die when she sees them. <laughs> uh, okay, that's all. Holy crap. Oh my god, everybody. Jessica. Who the frick is Jessica? Eh. Hey. Arthur? Uh, freaking people. Uh, we'll read Steph's last. Uh, Ryan, uh, we'll get. Uh, 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 ah, Ethan. Dad knows what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's cool. Uh, Charlotte. Thanks, Char. I don't even forget. Ducky lost for words. I am terribly Amazing. sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh, Mac. Hey, Chen, didn't think you'd actually take down Typhoon. You're braver than I ever imagined. Uh, you owe me a new job. I'm glad you're okay. Really. Thanks, Mac. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, no question. No one questioned it. Even the strange phone call started on late night, stalking his office when he left the house. Uh, and as the truth, because you showed it to us. Cool, Ryan. Steph and Ryan. Okay, we're both freaking out. We just want to make sure you contact us. Steph. Uh, and it's so much, of course. How could I not after everything? Oh. After summoning all my strength uh -huh. in power. Uh, you weren't going to mention being a superhero when I texted yesterday. I'm glad you're safe. I'm okay. now ready. No more. To move from the bed to the rooftop. No more. No more. No more. Is there anything in here? I have a feeling I'm near the end. No, I'm not playing the interview. Play interview. I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is... is gone. Thank you. 
There are no victories at the end of this. Just more. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chen? John, and no. But I. I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Feels like I've been through so much with Eleanor. It meant the world that she believed me. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. <laughs> it is, actually. Very rare. <sighs> Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. All right. I want me to go upstairs, so go upstairs. Okay, I'm not going upstairs. I have a big feeling I know who this is. Hey, Steph. Alex, yep. wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave, too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here, too. Your ticket, I guess, no. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. Aww. Found out that the, the voice actress of Steph actually streams on Twitch. She was playing this, so I did not go by the stream. <laughs> I was like, no, no, don't want to see the end or anything that I might not. Did not want to be spoiled. All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Hmm. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Why would you give that up? That's true. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends, 
And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Dude. Stop Not it, cool. Gabe. Not cool. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. And there's not a lot to say during all of this. Sorry. I know. But here's something. What? It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. <laughs> All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. <laughs> and little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Aww. Who runs the bar now? Oh, Ryan, probably. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me begin to fade into the background. Aww. Oh, Riley comes back. Rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Maybe while you play, Steph. you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. <laughs> or maybe you never think about that much at all. Am I getting given? You don't know exactly when it happens. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. 
You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Aww. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Uh, as I go where? Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? <laughs> oh! I don't want to deny stuff or dream. Screw it, we're going on the road with stuff. I know what I want. Me, I'd stay, but the Alex I've played through this has fallen in love with Steph, and Steph wants to go. Ryan? Why are you all alone right there, dude? Thanks for siding with me, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta have some. Oh my god, I have a horde. So, anybody that stood up for me is there. Not Ryan? That's weird. Because he did stand up for me. I didn't expect him to. That's, that's not this. Where'd Steph go? Where'd Steph go? There we go. <laughs> I'm like, wait, why is this up top? Um, I don't have anything else here. Okay. Well, Steph's in the audience, I do. Aww. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. The only promise is the adventure. I just want to get to the thing. Uh, I didn't realize that um, helping people 
would have them stand up for me in the council meeting. Interesting. I can't. Huh. Look at all these pictures. I'm just trying to talk over the music, really. That's all I'm doing at the moment. Oh my gosh. College grad. Cool. Yeah, but if you're interested, uh, I think it's Katie Benz. She actually does stream. Actually, go look her up. I intend to go see if she keeps her VOD so I can actually see that. I kind of doubt it because the music... Uh, music in the game would keep you from keeping the VODs. That's why you don't see my VODs on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, hey, follow me on Twitch because... As I scroll through all this really fast, oh my gosh, some long ass credits. But yeah, might not. She might not keep the VODs. But it'd be interesting to see her take on the whole thing. Whether she chose Ryan or Steph, because she voices Steph. Wow. I just want to see my last choices here. I do intend to replay it and get some stuff because there's things like memories and whatnot that I missed. I wasn't really quite sure how to get those at the beginning. Okay, here we go. Here's the stats. Alex hit the road to play her music. Most people stayed in Haven Springs. Interesting. Uh, Alex forgave Jed for his actions. Ah, glad I'm in the majority there because after all that, dialogue choices I kind of had to Alex claims she learned not to fear her emotions yep I'm majority there some members of the council stood with Alex I got yeah, everyone on the count yeah if I had probably if I had a uh, um, gotten ducky helped in part four I might have gotten that um Alex wanted to help more people in the future hmm? I'm in a majority there's slim margin though most Want to belong somewhere in the future. Hmm. <sighs> Alex didn't sit on the bed. <laughs> didn't know that was a thing. Uh, Ryan stood by Alex during the vote. I am not in the majority there. Most people... Alex didn't see Ryan after the vote. What? Alex forgave Ryan for not believing in her. Alex... Wow. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Charlotte turned her back on Alex. Uh, wait, it's okay. It didn't. Oh, it, go back. Charlotte sided with Alex. So uh, it doesn't show what I got there, but I had her side with me. So uh, during the vote. So I was in that small. Charlotte believed Alex, but couldn't help. No, I got the... Uh, huh? Eleanor sided with Alex during the vote. Yep, Pike sided with Alex during the vote. Ducky remained loyal to Jed. Ugh. It's because I didn't go episode four, go help him out. Ryan believed Alex during the vote. I am in the minority there. I thought he was going to believe his dad. I, I really did, because I don't... I was like, oh, I'm not romancing him. I didn't really interact with him a lot. After the second episode. Huh. Interesting. Ryan and Alex don't get together. 73%. Steph and Alex leave Haven together. Huh. It's kind of 50-50 on those two. Most people chose Steph. That's kind of cool. Well, that's, yeah. She's from the prior game, so a lot of people have an affinity for her, which is kind of cool. Yeah, the one thing I didn't know is that all those choices I was making actually did affect the council meeting at the last episode. That's actually kind of cool. So it was a nice long buildup of things throughout different episodes. Interesting. I don't know what I did to get Ryan on my side. That is kind of a shocker, shocker to me. Hmm. The only thing I needed to do is get Ducky on my side. I bet you there's an achievement for that. <sighs> okay. My overall judgment of this. 
Yeah, it's better than the original Life is Strange. Um, I'm going to say why before I end the stream here. Um, Alex reminds me a lot of me. That's why I kept saying, get away from me, get away, not get away from Alex, not get away from Alex, but get away from me. I saw a lot of myself in Alex. That was just, wow. It's just, just, if you could write me into a video game and give me empathic powers like that, I guarantee that's me in a nutshell. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was stunned throughout the whole thing going, this is, she's just, I, every, everything about her. I'm just like going, this is cool. I'm not a music nerd, but I'm a video game nerd. Um, wow. This is my favorite Life is Strange game <laughs> out of the whole franchise. They did a fantastic job. And... My only slight misgiving is this final episode was literally on rails pretty much almost all the way. <laughs> um, but I understand why. It didn't feel like a game, though. It felt like it was concluding a story, which in the original Life is Strange, um, it felt, Chapter 5 felt like too video gamey. This felt like something really natural and progressive towards Alex. And it felt like the end of a journey, the end of a good book, which is better than ending it with video game elements like the like Max's story ended. I think that was a big eh. See, the one where she hit the road with stuff. My own time. Uh... You know, we got a new Final Fantasy IV now. I know I took that on the back burner because I got upset next Tuesday on Twitch. This should go up. It comes out. Yeah. So if you're watching this, to m yeah, you might want to be there because I got to test that game. I loved it. <clears throat> I loved what I saw of it. I'll see you soon.